Welcome back to Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Well, now that we've acquired the power bomb, the map has opened up considerably, like yeah. even more than the spider ball did. Yes. There's a lot of places that we can go now, which means that there's a lot of backtracking that we have to do too before we can move on. No, I'm okay with that. Just, you know, there's a, there's an optional item to get, there's a lot of expansions. A lot of it is in the Aegon Wastes, believe it or not. Okay. We haven't been there in a while, and there's a lot that we can explore there, and, well, we can... We can map it out so we can get there in time. So it's a mixture of backtracking and tons of explosions. So we've also got a little bit of an issue here, too. We get, we have ammo scarcity in the form of power bombs. Uh, we got to do a lot of power bomb stuff now. I think it's going to get dire, because we need two power bombs here for this one. One to clear that glass and one to drain the water in this room. Oh. Creating a half pipe. And now we're out of power bombs. And now we're out of power bombs. Hmm. Sometimes the game will be nice, sometimes it'll be stingy. But there's two spider rails on opposite ends of this room here. Boost over to this little platform over here. And they'll take you to a nice little bomb slot. Oh, that's such fun design. I didn't even notice the spider rails until you got high enough. That's so cool. Rinse and repeat. You see what we're gunning for there? I believe that is a lovely missile expansion that we can get here soon. Yes, it is. Well, let's go get some more missiles, my good man! Well, let's go get the other one, then! Well, I love it! Tip of the top hat and a, sh and a shimmy of the monocle here, and I believe we're ready to get another missile pack! Oh, yes, bully indeed! <laughs> Tally-ho! <laughs> Tally-ho! <laughs> Onward toward getting those rapscallions and those missile expansions! Missile pack, we go! Bring the fight back to the enemy! <laughs> we'll take out those ing scum! <laughs> and promote the Luminoth race! <laughs> And eradicate the filthy Chozo! Wait, what? what? Wait, 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 hang, wait, hang, hang no, on. Hold, hold on. Uh, uh, that wasn't part of it? I didn't... I need to, to clarify what you just said there? What? Okay, I, I knew we shouldn't have br brought back Teddy Roosevelt. He's just, just, uh, just, you know, he's just pro-war. He doesn't like the Chozo either, so... Uh, you know. I, I will put him back in stasis. Yes. yes. Freeze him again. Anyway. <laughs> just, <laughs> that just reminds me of the Futurama. <laughs> that, uh... Of all the presidents to uh, to put the head in the jar, they had Nixon. <laughs> and I think he actually won another election and became president again. Oh, good lord. <laughs> okay, we got one more missile expansion in this uh, underwater temple here that we can get. Okay. Thankfully, we don't need a power bomb. Yeah, so it, power bombs are just... Like getting health back, right? It's it's the same as getting a missile expansion. They're not as common, y you know. T if you're y if you take the time to look for power bombs, they will come to you. But sometimes you can run into a bit of a a bit of a hole. You'll see. Fortunately, uh, there are let's see here eight power bomb expansions. Good lord! Which means you have a total of ten. Ten. Just ten. That's that's a lot of destruction. <laughs> that could, yeah, I mean, not as much as compared to say Super Metroid, but hey, it, t t it's, it's still something. Double digit is still a very nice, respectable number that I can get behind. Oh, I couldn't even find you Push there for a second. Way up here, a little hidden spider rail. A lot of yeah. these are little nice hidden spider rails for you. I like it. Brings you over here and back around, and this part's a little tricky, Whoa. but I always say, kind of right next to that little area and drop down and up. Oh, Whoa! Okay, cool. Nothing to it. And we need a power bomb. Well, that uh, is actually going to take us to an elevator to take us back to Sanctuary Fortress. Oh, okay. Which we don't need to do yet. Yes! Another one. Like, I'm thinking maybe that would be your way back. You know, oh, I, if, yeah, if I you're just you going critical path, yeah, because yeah, yeah. you get the power bomb down here, it's like, oh wow, I can open yellow doors now. What other yellow door can I open? Ooh, there's a yellow door. There I want to go to that yellow door. Wow, wow, yellow doors. It takes it back to Sanctuary Fortress where you need to be. So wow, but wow. we're not there yet. We're not there yet. We we gotta we we, we gotta get a lot of stuff first. <laughs> So did we ever officially talk about the fact that Metroid Prime 1, out of nowhere, got a remaster? I think we dropped it uh, a couple of times. My copy's uh, still in the mail, I think. Yep, still waiting on mine, because all physical all the time, please. I mean, I, could, I, I, I will 
always buy the physical for Metroid. Because you know how rare those things can get eventually. Uh-huh, yeah, like, I know like, that. Like, like this game, apparently. I can get Metroid Prime 3 for pennies. I can get Metroid Prime 1 for like about, what, 50 bucks? This one, 70, 80, 120 dollars! Probably because the only way to get it is with Trilogy or for or buying a GameCube. Right. That's insane. And it's a GameCube disc, which means that they probably wasn't as made as uh, the Metroid Prime 3. Oh, two power bombs, great. Oh, perfect. That's 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 great. That's nice. that's, that's lovely. That's generous. Yeah, the used game market is still in shambles, unfortunately. I was looking up a couple PlayStation games for a possible advent calendar and you know, between 60 and 100 dollars. <laughs> Some games you kind of do want to put the extra money for, but other games, you know, come on. See, this is why I'm happy we have the Nintendo Online, because they're actually putting old games right, on their services. So you got these things here. Yeah, blow right. them up? Yep, blow them up. Another goddamn powerbomb. <laughs> a lot a lot of these expansions we're getting are powerbomb related, of course. <laughs> One, ones that we can get before we uh, delve deeper into Sanctuary Fortress. Oh god, we just changed a habitat for an animal just for a missile pack. I think the Ing have done worse. Worth it! I don't even think anything living here to be pissed off about it. Yeah, it seems all the... All the local wildlife, you know, the equivalent of deers or rabbits in this place, have long since died. Save for like, you know, the little moths that fly around light right, sources. Right. Ah, our elders! <laughs> Excuse me? Elder Fluffykins, there you are! Maybe I can get another powerbomb from here. Hey, look at there! What the? They're handing them out like candy! Yeah, they're being really generous. They can be really fucking stingy, though. Really? I found the stinginess is in Sanctuary Fortress. Hmm. Seems that a lot of the other places where there's, like, life and abundance and, you know, happiness <laughs> radiating somewhere. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, no explosives here! Uh, yeah, I got a problem with this room, too. I get uh, backtracked too many times, so just, nope, just follow the path, follow the path. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I get turned around again. So that makes me wonder, programming-wise, does each individual section of Metroid Prime have different drop rates? Or is it programmed into the items themselves? What, what do you mean? Like, let's say Aegon Wastes, you have a better chance of getting power bombs there than you would, say, missile packs. Stuff like that, so maybe it is just an algorithm on how many you have? D th that I don't know about. Oh, uh, okay, so, uh, yes. I found a way to take care of these guys, thanks people in the comments. A charged dark beam and a missile really does take them out. Holy shit, that- I th See, I thought people were talking about, oh yeah, just use dark burst. Like, use dark burst? Are you, <laughs> you kidding? Use a black hole you, on you them, use, yeah. use black hole? No way. <laughs> but seriously, a charged dark beam and one regular missile, like, destroys them. That's hilarious. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I can't believe it's that easy. So we could have got this- <laughs> We could have got this earlier. Oop. But, uh, you see that little guy up there? Does he eat you? Yep, he that's a Splorb up there. There's this whole, uh, obstacle course they want you to go through, and I think that Splorb is going to give you problems all the way through. So I like to do my- I like to use my new toy. <laughs> Not even bother with the fucking thing. Oh, I'm gonna let that Splorb ruin my life. Oh god, I love this it. This is already hectic enough as it is. I'm just visualizing Samus going, Oh yeah, oh yeah, I got him back, I got him back. <laughs> <laughs> Take that! <laughs> Just throwing power bombs everywhere, just like the Guardian did. Being careful here, because they're like literally just dinner trays holding me up here. I uh, got some fresh Samus here tonight. Oop, order okay, up. we made it. Order up. Oop. Spider Ball is very generous, though. Oh yeah, I see what you were thinking. Yeah. Oop, 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 come oop, on. Oop. Come on. Get up there. There we go. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, it just moved. A legit gasp from yours truly. Again, very, 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 uh, lenient. This one's tricky, guy. Yup! Well, what I like about this is, one slip up, you're doing it again. Harsh, uh, very harsh puzzle, but worth it, I'm assuming. Uh, oh, we didn't even get a surprise. We just got a cannon. I like to think it's worth it. Okay, yeah, that's worth it. That's definitely worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. I'll take it. Thank you for mm -hmm. the E-Tank. Yoink, yoink. Take, take that. Thank you. God, look at all that energy. 
Mm, sweet, sweet oh, energy. We're drowning in energy. Oh, and I think I pulled the camera back a bit too far. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, camera. Hello? Whoop. Camera? There we go. There we go. All right. I love it when that happens in games sometimes. Just cameras up in La La Land up in the corner. She's like, hey, hello? This way, over here. Hello? Okay. So it made sense in Mario 64 because there was a little guy on a cloud holding a camera behind you. That is still such a great effect, in my opinion. Because, yeah, who's who's the camera crew following Samus this entire time? But then again, it could be recorded via her visor. It's it's uh, Yumos. N oh. With those sentry uh, devices that he has on. Oh, yeah! Right That's who's recording the half-pipe footage. Exactly! And, of course, she has the energy controller, which she can see everything that she's doing, too. So I, f I think I found a way to take care of this guy. That's not a power bomb. Well, well, I mean, <laughs> I would have, but I'm not even gonna bother. Guys, like the worst enemy in the game. A nuisance. Certainly, certainly one of the worst. See, I always try to avoid this room, but we have to come down here because in the next room there's an expansion. Really? Yep. We couldn't have gotten it until now. Well, this is the fastest way. Oh, okay. God, now I really want to play the remaster of Metroid Prime. I've seen some of the graphical updates. Uh huh. And they are glorious. Yeah, check it out. Charge up, pew, shoot him, and then fire a missile, and then dead. Yeah, they freeze in place. That Unbelievable. is amazing. Unbelievable. I feel foolish that it took so much pew. time to figure pew. that out. Well, this is <laughs> ah, it's trivial now. Yeah. Kind of an idiot. I'm sorry. Well, see, I, I was just thinking. I was like, oh, you're pretty far into the game. They shouldn't be still be giving you this much trouble. Yeah, I'm doing something wrong, and lo and behold, I was. It's this rock here. Oh, power bomb that bitch! Yeah. And all for what? For a power bomb expansion. <laughs> so now we got three to work with. Well, we have one to work with. I mean, you can go a little further to reach another area, but you don't need to go that way. I'm gonna go back to that uh, one area <coughs> so we can maybe uh, get a refuel on some power bomb ammo. Niskel's <coughs> <laughs> choking on water! I'm trying to get hold it! Oh no! Oh, oh my god, what happened? <clears throat> Ooh, a couple more power bombs. All right, we're full on oh, power bombs. Oh, thank God for power bombs! Wow. Yeah, how, how how kind, how generous, <laughs> how happy! Power bombs, man! Yes, <laughs> I'm so happy you're getting power bombs. Oh my God! Ooh, that was weird. <clears throat> you ever get that feeling where you know you're about to cough, so you try to stifle it with water, and then you choke on the water? God, good times. <clears throat> you ever forget how to swallow something? Yeah, you're, you, f you. Did you know that air hurts sometimes when you breathe it in too much? We shouldn't be alive as creatures. <laughs> the human race was a mistake. Breathing in gas to live? That's dumb. That's like an engine that can never run out, otherwise, it'll die. We are an infinite machine. Made to live longer than most, but eventually die. Right now, we're gonna get something a little spicy. Mm. A little, a little juicy even. I like a good mild hot wing. What do you got for me? A good mild hot wing? That's an oxymoron you just said there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been sick the pet, you know, this past week. <laughs> yeah, when, I when I was starting to feel better, I, I, I got a pizza and some chicken wings. But because my stomach was still kind of, you know, ooh, is it or not? I went and got mild instead. What a dis what a disappointing Look, chicken wing! I have low spice tolerance. What do you want from me? Higher spice tolerances? Well, it's not gonna happen because I'm a big wimp. Well, big wimp, time to go to the dark <laughs> world. <laughs> There's something in the top of that. What is it? Ooh, what's that? That's pretty. What is it? It's pretty. Let's go get it. Yeah, it looks multicolored. I want it. I like things that are pretty and multicolored. <laughs> I still like that transition. I can't wait to see it remastered. All right. Have we been here before? We have not. Yeah, this is new. I like it. Because it's a power bomb room. Got to get through power bombs. So we got uh, two flavors here: blue and orange. We're gonna go for orange first. 
Oh, I thought you were actually lining them up properly. I am. Oh, okay. Because we got two flavors, blue and orange. We're doing orange first. Oh, the the little place right there? Where you're spinning? Is that orange that you were talking about? Are you seeing? I think so. Got two flavors, blue and orange. We're doing orange first. Oh, the platforms. Okay, there you go. There, I see it, I see it. Yeah. See, this is why I am uh, strictly co-host, not that's actually not playing. That's not even the cool part about what this is all about. Because oh. you bring them all together. Uh-huh. You bust out your seeker missile. And then shoot them all at the same time! Kablooey! That raises these platforms in the dark and light world. What good does it do? You'll find out later. Might not make any sense now, but now that we've done the orange flavor, let's go to the blue flavor. Mmm, cotton candy. Mmm, blue raspberry. Yeah, I'd rather have blue raspberry as well. Mmm, uh, what else is blue? Blue, mm. blueberry? Eh, blueberry's okay. Mmm, artificial food dye and <laughs> sugar. <laughs> I still think through my entire Simpsons rewatch, hearing 54 slices of American cheese, I must be blind. It's like, Homer, have you been up eating cheese all night? Oh, I think I'm, I'm blind. blind. <laughs> there we go. Blue flavor all the way. All right, these orb cans are only one way, so let's ride the train. Ah, boo. Woo! Yep, yep, yep. Ah, boom. boom. All right. There we go. Get that secret missile out, and let's get the other half up. You're so happy you just wanted to blast a missile right in, right there. You gotta love that secret missiles usually seem to always take six missiles, actually. And that's... well, that destroys that. Hey, the platforms are still there. Well, that kind of had the opposite effect of what I expected. Oops. Uh, let's see what happened in the light world now. At this point, Samus is thinking, oops. Oops, oops, <laughs> oops, oops, oh, oops, oh, oh geez, is, is, is that okay? Oh, Sorry! No. Oh, jeez, oh, man. My bad? My bad? Yeah, I, I'm, just, I'm just being a, I'm, I'm just, I'm just being a bad girl today, just, jeez! Just a oh, little no. clunt sucks. Oh, my God, just a little What clunt. is wrong with, what is wrong with you today, Aaron? Come on! <laughs> this set up grapple points. Oh! That's actually clever. So we can use that to get over to this platform over here that has the one working orb can. Ah! <laughs> because you didn't look up, I hate it. Uh, so here we go, and the wait. one working orb cannon. Listen, shoots us Beow. right up here. What is that? It's a missile upgrade. Is that the the light super missile? It's the super light missile, the sunburst. Sun that sounds so cool. The sunburst. It works the same fucking way. Five missiles and thirty light ammo. Fuck off. <laughs> and they give you a few pirates to tr to test it out, but I mean, yeah, I'm not about that. I, I, I found the cheat method. In fact, why not go ahead and get down into a lower level so that way I can face them better? I'm gonna be going this way because. Uh, one of the things that we'll be doing after this will be uh, opening up the temple grounds all the way. Oh, cool. If we want to get from place to place, we don't have to cut through the temple anymore. Oh my god, I absolutely love this. They just freeze frame. And... Freeze frame! Boosh! <laughs> it is kind of satisfying. I th I, yes, th thank thank you everybody for telling me what I do wrong in the, in the episode. It's really humbling. Well, I think it's just really fun that you should now feel overpowered, and you do now that you know the methods. Well, I, I guess it also show, uh, goes to show you that even though this game is very difficult, it's certainly one of the hardest in the series, and hard for a Metroid game, certainly. There's still tricks to it. Mm -hmm. Like there's still things you can do, so when you feel like that you're doing good, it, it's kind of empowering, really. It's like, yeah, look at me, I'm doing great. I got 100, I got 183 fucking missiles. I got 91 dark beam, 142 light ammo. I got like all these E tanks. 
I can take on the world! Look at all the fun stuff I got. This game ain't nothing. I don't have no fucking CO yelling in my ear saying, don't use the power bomb, Sam, is they're dangerous. Well, I just got another one from an enemy. Fuck you! I was waiting for it. I knew it was coming. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. It's been a hot minute since we talked about Other M. In video. Because say. we've been talking about good games. That's and right. I realize that that day is now fast approaching. <laughs> we gotta talk about the, the year of the good game. So this was, is, was it a couple of years ago. That's a Federation gate. We blow it up by power bombing it. Sweet. You can tell because it's yellow. Haha. <laughs> Screw you, Federation. Yeah. Get out of here. At this point, are they still friends? Uh, yeah. I'd say. I mean, we're helping them. Okay. Uh, that's good enough, I guess. I mean, I really can't tell what the relationship is now, because, uh, you know, we left kind of, you know kind of miffed at each other at the end of 4. Yeah. But I think that was kind of brushed to the wayside in, uh, Met in Metroid Dread. When they said, Oh, found the X. Let's get the one person who can take care of him. And uh, let bygones be bygones, yeah? I just still love that the Federation's first inclination when they see a new, uh, basically a powerful creature is to... Oh, let's harness that. Alright, I need one more power bomb. Yeah, I noticed there was an extra there's gate an, there. There's an expansion in there that we're going to need an extra power bomb for, and I'm hoping that these guys will be nice enough to give one to me. Please be nice? Yeah, war wasps are never nice. Please be nice? That's not power bomb. Please be nice. They have been really good to me so far, though, so... This is about the only hole that we kind of get into. There's a couple things you can do if you really need some power bombs, though. One of them is to come back in this room and start shooting the war wasps. You can also go back to that other room and shoot some of the enemies that, that are on top of the tunnels. Those are the ones that'll typically give you a power bomb or two. These guys. Power bomb? Okay. Uh, well. Yeah, let's try this room. Another loop. There's some crates out here too, which, you know. Damn it. That's a missile. Hey, hey, there we go. There you go. Hey, beautiful. Yeah, well, it's all it's all worth it, isn't it? Let's go blow things up. All right. So we need two power bombs because we need to blow up this gate from this way. And we could blow up that gate, but we need to blow up this wall. Oh. For another power bomb expansion. And now we can open up the other gate. But we need that power bomb, so I'm gonna hold on to that. Yeah, that's fair. Like, blowing up that gate doesn't do anything except make a shortcut, right? It's just opening up more of the of the temple grounds. Oh, okay. Oh, well, we're fine. Because those, uh, uh, when powerbomb doors are, are gone, they're gone for good. Oh, fantastic. Which is very nice. So it's just opening up all the way, so it's just making our uh, trek back and forth a lot easier. It's going to be really good when we start getting the Sky Temple keys later on. Oh, hey, you, you guys got power bombs? Can you spout a power bomb in this trying time? Metroid Prime 2 taught me to knock on war wasp hives and go, Hello, power bombs! Yeah, everybody out there in the audience, try that. If you're missing a power bomb, go out and find an actual hive and just go knocking. And if anybody asks you, say Niskel told you to and UDJ said not to. That's right. <laughs> oh God, please don't knock on wasp, wi uh, wasp wives. Don't, wasp do, hives. Don't, don't do that either. That's rude! Queen! Queen! Hello? Right, we are now making our way to Aegon Waste to get a whole bunch of collectibles that we missed. Or rather, haven't collected yet, but now can. Sweet. But, I... Th there's so much backtracking and collectibles to get that I couldn't fit it all into one episode, so we'll be getting half of them today. That's fair. I mean... If, if we had an entire, like, hour-long episode filled with collectibles, first of all, I'd, co I'd question why. It, it just wouldn't be... It, and it, it'll all work out, trust me. Yeah. Right where these collectibles are is a way to get back to Sanctuary Fortress. Yes, there is one that connects from Aegon Waste to Sanctuary Fortress. Cool. It's very nice, very handy, very lovely. But first, got to deal with what we have right here. I would think that... The devs, having tried this out themselves, would think, my god, it's a long way to get to part three from part one. Why don't we just make a little shortcut to there? Uh, I think they also figured out some some uh, 
I guess, game dev hacks to make the game run a little better so they could load it in different areas more. Kind of felt like you, you had to load this area, then this area. It Yeah. Maybe it was uh, linear for, for uh, necessity's sake. But here it's more open and more free and more explorative, and I can go anywhere. I can go anywhere. This is why you test your game before you, you know, send it off to market. Because the QA department actually has some great ideas or can spark inspiration for your game dev. It's okay to get criticism for your game because chances are it'll make an idea that's absolutely perfect for your game. Let's make sure it's constructive criticism because so, that's more valid. I think it's more constructive to say that, uh, you know, going from area to area and the backtracking sections are a bit too long. That's more constructive compared to this game is hot steaming buffalo diarrhea leaking out of my ass and into my feces. I don't really think that's as, that's as constructive. I don't know, but it certainly got 500,000 views on YouTube. Oh, damn! Ah, shit! Uh, b buffalo diarrhea feces? Uh, it's, it's a buffalo diarrhea feces gamer. <laughs> Here's my dissertation on why Metroid Prime 2 is the worst, guys. No, really. He even thinks that good games are poop. Oh, wow. That, that's actually a really cool section. <laughs> yeah, that's just been there all this time. It looked kind of odd, didn't it? Yeah, it shot you straight into magnetization. Going back to first person looked a little jank, but that's okay. Sometimes when the morph ball is not in a place that uh, Samus can unroll, uh, yeah. right, it just kind of <laughs> locks you back into first person there. <laughs> nice, nice. Gonna head back to the temple. We got one more little uh, missile to get. It's over where we got the dark burst. Was the... I almost said Starburst. Is that the first chance we could have gotten it? Yes, actually. Now, now that I think about it, we could only get it via Power Bomb. Power Bomb, yes. And similarly, this Power Up can be getting from Power Bomb only. Whoops, 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 whoops. Oops, I, I fall, oops, I've oops, fallen. Oops. I have fallen. Help me, please. Ha! Ah, no. Samus, it's okay. You fell down a foot. It's fine. <laughs> but it hurt. <laughs> Donk. Just zooming on by. I gotta go. It's, it's so familiar, isn't it? Ah, uh, it's like it's like reminiscing. You know, going back to old sections, just being like, "Hey, old section, what's up?" Yeah, it's like, "Hey, and I remember that we uh, got the seeker missile. We could go through here, yeah." Yeah, I missed yeah, you, Aegon that's, Wastes. That's right. Kinda. There was a whole place we could go through here. We get the dark burst yeah. and all that. Man, that was good times. Wow. Memories. And look, someone else moved in while we were gone. Hello, disgusting. Uh, uh, Alright, so I just ew. walk in and you just barf on my face? What's wrong with that? How rude. Disgusting. Yeah, you blow up. Anyway, there's a wall over here. Kaboom. I thought you were about to say, oh, hey, look, another power bomb expansion. Wow. Uh, not a power bomb expansion, but yet another goddamn missile expansion. Oh my god. All of these missile expansions. Yep. We're gonna be done before you know it. We're almost at 200 missiles. We are. Alright, now we gotta traipse into the Dark World a little bit. Dark World exploration, you jest. I jester. You, Ultra Director Jester. You jest, Mr. Jester. Go into the Dark World for some collectibles. <laughs> well, that just seems preposterous. R really, it's an obvious one when you think about it. Oh. I mean, when 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 you get it, you're like, oh yeah, that one. Duh. <laughs> Have oh. we already seen it? Well, yeah. You're gonna you're gonna see it. And go, oh yeah, that one. Duh. Oh. Let's take a look. If I don't actually have that exact reaction, this entire playthrough is a sham. I'm just this isn't it already a sham? <laughs> I would like to perform a constructive criticism on my own work. It is actually terrible. <laughs> Why do you watch me? I am I am awful. Ooh ooh. Ooh! Hello, Ooh, that's hello, a lot of power bombs. hello! Oh, thank you! Shower me with power! Thank you, yes! Shower me with power bombs and phase on! Ow! Ow! Okay, maybe not the phase on. Oh my god, he has nothing but bits. Man, the super missile's really. Oh! Why was it just sitting there? It's like if I shoot enough, maybe she'll keel over or give up or something. I don't know. Okay, I think she's using a charge beam, but could it be that. Ah! Frankie? Oh my god, she killed Frankie! 
Just shot a freaking super missile right in his face! Oh my god. Oh, oh god. I can't even see. Is that part of his mandible? Oh no! Oh my god, there's bones sticking out and everywhere! Oh no! Let's go, go, go. Excuse me, bees. You guys aren't gonna help me in none, so I'll just help myself. Give me that portal to the dark world. Let me show you how easy it is to pick up more missile packs. That is what this is that we're going after. Oh, I called it. Another missile expansion. Well, I mean, I had a pretty good choice of what we could be picking up. I mean, we picked up a, a basically an exploding star. Well. And then, you know, a few power bomb packs just for the road. And now to, you know, pick up another 5,000 missile packs for our lunchbox later. Well, I feel like this time we're using the missiles a lot more. Oh, definitely. Because, you know, super missiles are so required, it seems. I, I was about to say, at this point, just super missile all the time. We've definitely got enough. It's effective. It's sexy. It makes me feel good. It's kind of when I... I enjoy having all of these collectibles. I enjoy fe feeling powerful. But you just don't actually use all the missiles you get, so... You know, having semi-reliance on the super missile, it's pretty nice. Oh. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> it's just there, okay. It's just there. Neat. And hello, 200 missiles. Beautiful. That's all we need in the dark world. Now we're gonna pop on back to the light world and that's about all we're gonna do. Okay. Because there's apparently a lot of stuff happening in the pirate uh, area, because, well, kind of left everybody alone after we almost killed everybody. Oh, are you saying they didn't just regroup and decide, you know what, I'm going to not be a pirate anymore? I don't think that being marooned on this death planet is a great place to have a change of heart. Yeah, about this time, fight or flight kicks in. And if you're space pirates, you're probably jacked up with enough phase on that there's only fight or fight. <laughs> fight or fight or fight or fight or fight or fight. The only flight you're doing is in a jetpack with a gun attached to it, shooting Samus Aran. It's all right. We made these jetpacks out of half-broken crackers. It'll be fine. Go fight Samus. Ooh, half-broken crackers. Ooh. That's better than the crumbs we were given earlier. It's all right, we pasted it together with peanut butter. Actually, we just took your bagged lunch and put it on your back. I Ooh. hope you enjoy. Ooh, peanut butter. It's getting fancy. You must have gotten a, bu a budget increase. <laughs> Ridley decided, you know what? No more yogurt. All peanut butter. Because who do you... S well, I mean, are, how are they making money? That's actually a good point. Wh who, who do you sell the Metroids to? Yeah. Federation would be on your ass in an instant. God, that would be such a bait and switch. It's just like, Federation comes in and said, Metroids are bad. We're going to make some Metroids. Uh, space pirates are bad. We're going to buy some Metroids. Why do you think Met Why do you think Samus is like, You're making Metroid? Nope, nope. Shutting this down. Blowing it up. Killing you all. I mean, destroying everything. This is not happening. You are not making Metroids. I don't think so. Nope, nope, nope. That's what I think I like about her. She doesn't say a damn word, but as soon as she sees Federation plus Metroids or Space Pirates plus Metroids. No! It's just... No! 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 Putting a stop to this. I don't think so. Absolutely. Definitely not. Reads a log. is like, Samus, did you know that the Federation and Metroids said in the same sentence, but having nothing to do with each other, you just hear, bang, Hey, computer, did you know that I'm going to put my foot up in the Federation's ass if they do they deal with Metroids one more fucking time? God damn it, Federation, stop. Well, you need to end this. I'm going to take advantage of this save station up here. Save station. Because uh, the way to uh, the Sanctuary Fortress is actually through that white door that was in that previous room. Oh, okay. But we gotta do a bit of a loop around to get everything first. Then we can move on and do some more stuff. I like more stuff. I like more stuff too. More stuff yeah. is fun. By the way, when we left the third area, how much left was there? We got two temple keys left to find. Two temple keys, okay. I think we've got all the items we need because we got the power bomb, and now we got the sunburst, now we got all these, all these uh, missiles, so I think we should be... In the Sanctuary Fortress in the long run now. Everything's coming up nicely. Everything's going great. 
So next time in Metroid Prime 2, we're gonna get the rest of what we need here in Aegon Wastes and delve deeper into Sanctuary Fortress. Before we go, let's check out yes. that. Yes, the exploding Sunburst. star! Wow! Yeah. It's like a rave in a super missile. <laughs> Drop it! <laughs> That's really cool. See you next time.